You know, it came to my attention after perusing the subreddits that some of us don't know how to properly sell our Apple devices, our Apple Watch, when we list them on eBay. Like this poor guy, who sold a brick Apple Watch to a buyer. It's not as easy selling the Apple Watch by simply taking pictures and putting it on eBay for sale. There's a couple of steps you have to follow before selling your Apple Watch. Similar to like other devices, it's not like AirPods you could just deactivate it on your iCloud accounts. With the Apple Watch, there's a couple of more steps you have to follow or else you'll be selling an overpriced paperweight to the buyer. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the steps you have to take before selling your Apple Watch. And if you're somebody who's buying a secondhand used Apple Watch, these are some things you have to be aware of before purchasing that watch. So hopefully this video will educate you and prevent you from being this guy. That poor guy better contact the buyer because he basically just sent out a brick Apple Watch. And also cover for the shipping costs because he's gonna have to have it shipped back to him in order for him to deactivate it because you have to physically have the watch next to you in order to do that. But enough said, let's go ahead and begin the process by using my personal watch and I'm gonna go demonstrate how to back it up so you can restore it if you're upgrading to a new Apple Watch as well. All right, so when it comes to backing up your Apple Watch, it automatically backs up every time you sync with either iTunes or if you're using iCloud to back up your iPhone. It will automatically store the backup from your watch each and every time you do that. But it also backs up your device when, let's launch the Apple Watch app. Here we go. Go to the home menu. If you tap on this and you tap on the little eye icon, right here you can hit unpair Apple Watch. As soon as you hit that, it will unpair the Apple Watch, but during the unpair process, it will also make a backup and store that backup on your iCloud. So let's go ahead and click on that. Once it's unpaired, it's no longer gonna be locked to your iCloud account, so that means a new user who bought your Apple Watch will be able to actually connect it and pair it to their personal iCloud accounts. So all your personal data will be gone. They will be able to import their new personal data on the Apple Watch. So simply just hit that little unpair. Of course, it's gonna ask you for your passcode. So let me go and enter this real quick and I'll be right back. Once that is entered, that's basically it. So the process may take like five to 10 minutes. So allow it to do its thing and we shall continue. So our watch is now good to go. And this is what you like to see if you receive your used Apple Watch. So you wanna make sure the seller has gone through this process. Because in this mode, this is the only way you can actually pair it and connect it to your iCloud account. So to connect it, it's easy. Simply hit the pair button on the Apple Watch app. And then using your iPhone's camera, line it up with the screen of the Apple Watch. And which whatever witchcraft Apple has, these two screens will communicate with each other, kind of like a smart QR code and you get this cool synchronized animation. So now we are prompted with these two options. We can restore from a previous backup, doesn't matter what series Apple Watch it is. If it's an older model or newer model, it will still work. As long as it's on the latest watch OS, it's perfectly fine. Or you can set your Apple Watch as an entirely new Apple Watch, which means all your backup apps, watch faces will not back up. You're gonna have a clean setup. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is restore, and you may have noticed the very recent setup was when we actually did the backup process. So it backs up right away as soon as you unpair. Simply click on that and let it do its thing. Now the backup process does take longer than the unpair process, so give it some time. There's gonna be one more window that's gonna pop up. Just simply tap okay and just let it do its thing. All right, checking back on the device, you are gonna have to uh, go through some of the settings, just follow the tutorial. I'm not gonna use a passcode. Continue, continue, just continue all this stuff. And now it's uh, synchronizing our backup, if my camera could focus on the screen. And just let it be. And you can also see the progress right here. And if you scroll down, it also gives you like little tutorials. Wow, that is backing up really slow. So yeah, give it 10 minutes or so, and we'll be back. All right, and just like that, our Apple Watch is back to normal. So if you unlock your phone, it just says, welcome to the Apple Watch. 
But uh, literally everything that we had on our previous Apple Watch, it's all being downloaded. So some of the applications aren't here. Oh yeah, this was weird. Uh, when I backed up my phone, for some reason, half my complications didn't get backed up correctly. Oh, I know why. Because the applications, we 3D press, they're being downloaded. So all the apps that you had is being downloaded in the App Store. So give it time, all your applications you had on your previous backups will install. If this camera can focus. Eh. It will slowly stop focusing on the clock. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's all going to slowly like reinstall all the applications you previously had. So uh, that's why some of these complications are gone. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Just wanted to help you guys who are selling Apple Watches, or you're going to sell your personal Apple Watch, or if you're a buyer, make sure the Apple Watch that you're purchasing from that user is uh, not iCloud locked, unless you want to buy it for parts. That's a cheap way to repair your current Apple Watch, but buying one that is locked, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, again, if you're trying to sell your Apple Watch, make sure you unpair it from your iCloud account on your iPhone, not by deleting it using your Find My iPhone app. But uh, yeah, hope this video was informative. If so, you know what to do. I'll greatly appreciate it if you could leave this video a big thumbs up. And also, get subscribed, especially if you enjoy Apple content like this or just tech in general. I like to just cover anything really that comes to mind. So if you enjoy my content like what I'm doing, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and feel free to share this video. I don't care. But, <laughs> but until next time, catch you in the next one. Peace.